setting up for a tattoo guy, man. Josh coming in, just regular old shit, dog. We're getting geared up for the week. What you think about this week, Bubba? What you think's gonna happen? I don't know either. I know one thing that's gonna happen is the lookbook. So I have the designs, getting all the garments together, and that'll be dropping for friends and family. This is my last tattoo of the week before I head to Houston. I need a week to kind of regroup, then go to Houston, because Houston's gonna be nuts. I'm booked solid. So yeah, looking forward to that. I'm gonna stay at a hotel probably close to a lifetime fitness so we can keep the workout regimen going, because you know we're gonna be in barbecue, baby. That was good. So I started this large canvas dragon thing. A couple of little just like things that I started or whatever, but I didn't have time to get them finished. So for the art auction, I have entered a different painting. I think it's fitting and I think it works and I like it and I'm willing to let it go. Uh, Dragon Lotus painting on its way to auction for COVID relief. Back to the lab this week. Gotta work on these NFTs, gotta work on IRLs, gotta work on LOLs. I don't know what else. All right, peace, be back. <laughs> I was just on a bike ride. I got a phone call on the bike ride from Jay's parole officer. They're apparently here to check out the house. I gotta get dressed real quick. Okay, so last night was eventful. We had so, I don't know how to update this. I don't know how to really like tell you what's going on because I don't officially know what's going on. But I guess it's good news that they stopped by, which we won't know if they're gonna approve them. It could be three days, it could be 30, I don't really know. Not approved, we don't, we don't really know at this point. So Tuesday morning, I have lookbook duties all day long. Um, so before I sit all day in front of the computer, I'm gonna go to the gym. Back from the gym. It's been quite a morning. We officially, officially got word that Jay has been approved. Jay this morning heard from his parole officer in New York who told him that he had to be here by Monday. <laughs> So I don't really know what's happening right now, but Jay has been approved to come to Las Vegas and live here and work. That is great news. All day today though, bro, I've been kind of like. Imagine that, a natural high. Whoa, yeah, look I at that. Know. Oh, uh, it's amazing what life gives you when you got things to look forward to. It's amazing what happens when you sit around and don't fucking have anything to look forward to. This is true mm. too. Right. Lessons in here somewhere. You reap what you sow. Bro, man, mm. fucking seven years we've been waiting for this. I know. Me and Alex were at dinner last night, and I was like, "When's the last time you saw?" I was like, "Y'all haven't seen each other since we went to Cold Crush yeah, to have a drink that one night." Oh, that's right. Yeah. Word. That was the last time we like saw each other physically. Long time ago. And now you guys are gonna get a week together. It's all happening again, Jay. <laughs> Alex, he doesn't even remember. I told him that when I came to Denver, I, I had to remind him, and I was like, dude. I was there for like three days, two days. We go up to the mountains, and then I remember us leaving Godspeed and you not putting your stuff in the car. And I was like, what are you doing? You're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to Utah for like a week. <laughs> <laughs> you guys had okay. just met. Me and Alex, yeah, we could be more extremely opposite. Uh. <laughs> we had a good time, though. You don't remember driving down the mountain? How scared I was? I was like, <laughs> I was like closing my eyes. <laughs> Okay, so obviously things are chaotic and crazy. I have to run down here to talk to the embroidery place about a new drop thing coming. Dealing with a brand new supplier this week, getting some more. I've had like a hundred samples show up this week. I'm really trying to get this lookbook finished. It's uh, It's been difficult. It's a fucking sick drop. I really like all the stuff. I'm having trouble getting it made. <laughs> so I'm just trying to make sure everything's in line before I release the look. Things are crazy. Jay's gotta be here by Monday. I think I'm gonna buy a snake. Yeah. Like a pet snake? Yeah. Why? I don't know. This guy on Facebook's got one that he wants to sell. It's pretty cheap. And I think it would be cool. What? What kind of snake? <laughs> Just like a snake. I don't know. I think it's going to be cool because I could like look at it and draw it. What? They're like boa constrictor. It's a 
boa, I don't know, but you know those live a really long time and get really big. You need like a huge weight for them and they smell. <laughs> Alex, I'm just joking. Oh. Okay, it is 6 a.m. Morning, I got up at like fucking three o'clock. Ugh, seven years, you know, like even longer if you really like just this whole story, you know, like leaving Washington, D.C. and going to New York. All of these things happened, and this moment, like coming into this moment that Jay's finally coming is surreal as fuck. There's a lot to juggle just with everything in the world, too. Like running my business, like all this shit is uncertain, and it's uncertain for you guys, too. Whatever you're doing, I'm sure, I'm sure there's a level of uncertainty to it, and that's life. Even when I'm certain, I'm just tricking myself, I'm just fooling myself into certainty. So, the same thing to be true now. It's like I'm aware of my goals, I'm aware of my dreams. All I can do is like stick with them. Part of those goals and dreams is to help Jay. So we're here. It's crazy. It's happening. It's a lot coming at once. And there's just a lot of shit going on just in, gen just in general. Like, I mean, I feel like this whole last year, I'm like, it should be a super cut of me being like, there's a lot of shit going on. Or maybe even the whole four years. I don't know. Um, however long it's been. Raise our cheese. You gotta raise your cheese for the morning, dog. You gotta get, you, get, you get the cheese on. So, uh, yeah, I sold like. 16 tattoo machines. So usually I open this drawer full of tattoo machines. Today, not so much. All I have is the new camo dildo, which is just wrapped up because I was testing out a, uh, this new barrier. And then um, this Dan Cuban liner. So I bought another Dan Cuban that is literally identical to this. Identical. It's just black aluminum instead of raw aluminum. And I bought another uh, FK Irons Spectra Flux, I believe is the name of it. So the Spectra Flux, I gotta start calling it by its name. <laughs> but fucking amazing machine, honestly. So I bought another one of these just in black, not limited edition camo. I am just really preferring this combo and I'm really preferring just showing simplification of my process and everything. Everything in life must be simplified. If there's a time to do it, now is the time. What I was saying to you was it's just uh, so crazy because uh, we were together when I was in upstate and stuff. He's from home. You know, my friend actually drop out. I see him here, and before I came home, I was telling everybody, you know, I'm not getting to go back to New York. I'm going to go. At the time, you guys were still in Colorado. I'm going back. You just don't know how many people say that. Yeah, know? yeah, no, I'm so, sure. A lot of people. Yeah, so I, so I get out. Cool. Look, I'm back in Kingston. And I see him, you know what I mean? And the, the first thing out my mouth is, you know, yeah, I'm only here, but I'm only here temporary. I'm about to transfer to Vegas. It's now, another I'm thing here. that motherfuckers just say. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know how many times you hear that? And then not just transfer, brother. <laughs> I'm not talking about going just anywhere. <laughs> Las Vegas. Or oh, work, did he? Yeah. Work. <laughs> you're, you're, you're going to Las Vegas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> your boy, your boy's got an internet thing, huh? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, no doubt. And now it's like, <laughs> it's so <laughs> crazy, man. It's like, well, there's a part of you too that had to like have intentions of doing it, but it was obstacles to get over definitely. to even get to that point. Jay's in the air right now. He'll be here at like nine o'clock, 5.30 right now. We're just getting everything set up, ready to go. I'm editing. I'm still working on a little book. Friends and family is getting an email right now. Yeah, it's fucking chaos, bro. It's crazy this is happening. But even more surprising, you know, as a serendipitous, if you will, uh, these Ultra Boost showed up. Now they didn't show up randomly. I ordered them, got them for half off, which was super nice. Ultra Boost 21. You know, internet is funny. Boost God is back. Boost God 2021. I think they can sue me if I came out as Boost God 2021 because it's like a futuristic version. You know, it's not the same. It's not your same. It's not, it's not the same Boost God. It's a futuristic Boost God. But I don't know. I doubt it. Well, I mean, I doubt they'd leave me alone. But Adidas, come on, let's let's talk. Anyway, new box. Even it's been so long since I bought an Ultra Boost. We now have Pod Bay Door box. We're not doing it on feet. I don't have time. It is the most comfortable Ultra Boost there is. The boost amount is massive. You already see it. The knit, insane comfortable. It's just as comfortable, if not more comfortable, than the Free Hiker, which if you know, you already know. It's got all the best DNA of all the shoes they've put out over the last, I don't know how many years. They're great. There's a new torsion. There's a new prime knit that's called Prime Blue, which just sounds 
fucking fancy as shit. It almost sounds like a fancy beer. But I mean, these are great. The cage is cut down, shaved off. You don't even see it. I don't really like the lettering. You can't see it in a black pair. Uh, this shoe, I mean, it, incredible shoe. The knit, I'm telling you, this knit is so fucking comfortable. You're sitting shallow inside of a fucking boost mansion so i mean the shoe is incredible i don't know what else to say to you i don't i'm not i'm not trying to influence you to buy these i'm not trying to tell you that you need to go buy these. what i am telling you is that they're super super comfortable and they have every piece and part of an ultra boost or even non-ultra boost shoes that i love i really really like this shoe i'm gonna do my best not to buy a bunch of pairs of them luckily there's not a bunch of colorways don't really love a lot of the colorways so far the solar yellow is obviously dope but it has like that pink stripe and then kind of turns me off the solar orange color that's coming looks pretty nice so now that i know that they're like super comfortable it's going to be a little more difficult but hey they're not going to stop making them clearly we've learned our lesson you don't need to rush out go crazy there will be plenty of shoes you know i'm super critical of what adidas does we've had our relationship our ups and downs but this shoe incredible 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 the most comfortable ultra boosts ever ever been made i mean i'm not running in them so don't be like oh teddy uh you, you know not as a runner like i get it i'm not i'm not talking about that i'm talking about for me walking up to the store or whatever these shits these shits are one these are one and they look dope they look so good on feet so comfortable my god Whew. i went true to size trying to think of all the questions someone's gonna ask me true to size true to size god they're so comfortable all right we're gonna pick up jay What's the matter? I just talked to Can't go? I can. You going? They just went to Teddy's last night. Why you look sad? I, because I gotta be there Monday. You will not go and see Shirley. I'm Miss Shirley. Face time. Yeah. I just wanna see you get your act together. I just wanna see you live your life and do the right thing. I don't know. Oh, I'm so happy for you, but you gotta do the right thing, okay? Yes, ma'am. You've been hanging in there, I'm down in the drinking. I can't drink. All that's over, but Teddy don't play that anyway. You don't <laughs> but, drink, right? Nah. Okay. Sometimes things might not go your way. You gotta tough it up. I do. This is it, Jay. This is it. I'm gonna miss you. I miss you. <laughs> but I'm glad. <laughs> because I was praying, I want to see you get on your life and do the right thing. Vegas. <laughs> Give me Tiger Woods, mom. No more snow. Like that. <laughs> Tiger no Woods. No more snow. And Teddy's Teddy. a psychic. Yes, he is. <laughs> he called it. No, ever change, Teddy. Stay just the way you are. You're perfect like that to me. <laughs>